All right, everybody, welcome back. This week, we're gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off last week. We're gonna go ahead and start with uh, getting some brake lines put in, and then we'll move on to the battery box. So before we put the battery box in, um, we need to make sure we can work behind it. So we're gonna go ahead and put in essentially the, the brake lines between here and the proportioning valve there. All right, I'm not completely happy with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and do it again. All right, got the first line done. Now uh, doing the second one. So I use my little trick of using uh, some thicker gauge uh, solder there to kind of bend the shape I want. And so I know how long to make it and where to bend it. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the second one cut, flared and bent. All right, I got everything measured. Both sides flared, but I forgot to put these guys on. So we will go ahead and do it again. All right, brake lines are installed. So again, um, this back one is for the rear. So that goes here. And again, this one's the rear, and then this one here goes over into the front. So that's got it. So this is all tight, that's tight. Just need to put the lid on. We'll wait till we get some brake fluid. Um, the only other thing is we haven't done, since we've got brake line, I don't know if you can see it, but essentially it's running all the way to the back. I've got it teed. I don't have the brake lines running to the Tesla motor yet. Um, I'm waiting until that one gets mounted before we run those hard brake lines. I got the plastic for my battery box up front. So I've kind of gone through and labeled the pieces. And as soon as I get the, I've got a, essentially a, a bar that I need to weld on the back. So I'm gonna get that welded, paint it, and then I'll start uh, assembling the battery box. All right, I got one of my uh, square stock here of steel, cut it to length, um, just ground it a little bit on the ends, kind of deburr it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. So this will be the uh, kind of underside bracket for uh, the battery box, just to kind of support it from underneath. All right, cleaned up, got a coat of paint on it. So we'll go ahead and put it in. All right, so I got this one painted. Um, I thought about welding, I still may do that later, but to begin with, I'm just gonna do these uh, riv nuts and some L brackets. So um, I'm spacing this down just a little bit so the thickness of this is level here and that'll kind of support the backside of the batteries. So I'm gonna put the L brackets on and then find where I need to drill and do more riv nuts on the frame. I'm gonna start now assembling the front battery box and we'll see how far we get before we run into a trouble.
All right, so I'm assembling the uh, battery box, the pack for the front of the vehicle. And I did measurements here to here to, so I can make this panel. Essentially, I want the whole box to kind of not be able to go up because of this. So it's got a really tight fit on this side. Let's see if I can show you. So that's kind of, it's like really snug, which is good. But on this side, it's like, that's not gonna fit. So I might have to just like notch out just a tiny bit here so this can drop again, just a tiny bit. All right, so starting to assemble the battery box for the uh, front battery pack. And so again, we got a nice snug fit on on the top here. And so again, the, this top bar, will make sure nothing goes in the upward direction. Um, this part of the frame, as well as uh, that part of the frame, kind of just hold it from going down. I need to, just remove these because it's such a tight fit. Um, it ends up kind of chewing up the plastic as I push it in or pull it out. So I'm just gonna take take these ones out and continue. I have decided what I'm going to do. Uh, so I did take out those um, rib nuts there so I can slide the batteries in and out. But I think what I'm gonna do are the battery modules in and out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a test fit. So I am gonna put the batteries in uh, lay, you know, fasten all the panels. Um, I'm interested in the back. I've got, uh, let's see if we can see it, but I've got some holes here that I've got, I'm gonna drill it, or I've got to screw in a, call it a bracket. Um, and that kind of lines up with this. So basically it helps it not um, go that way or this way. Um, so I, I have one on the front as well, one on the back. And I mean, left to right, again, we're, all the batteries are just side to side. So I'm gonna have some angle, angle steel here on both sides. So I won't have, I won't worry about too much left to right, but this will just kind of make sure that um, the batteries don't slide, the battery modules don't slide and into kind of the terminals. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just uh, do a test fit, test assembly, um, and then I'll probably take it all down so I can weld up some things. All right, so I've got the uh, battery modules here on the bottom. Just kind of show you here on the back. So I've got um, essentially enough room that I can put the uh, connectors on and not be worried about space. So that'll be good. Just wanted to show that before I, the next battery module is gonna go there. I'm gonna put this here, kind of put the rest on. And then I've got these uh, brackets here that are gonna go on the front to kind of secure them. And then again, so on the back, we're kind of constrained back here and the front will be constrained with those brackets and then uh, again up and down right here and then side to side I'm going to weld on some angle steel there and there. All right, everything was going pretty well, but I found kind of the first uh, issue. So I can probably show it easiest on this top one here. So like I said, I've got this spacer here, so I'll have room for connections like with the terminals. Um, and that again, that'll keep it from going that way. On this other side, I've got this one, but you see I've got like, I don't know, like an inch or two off. So. I will probably have to get new ones of these made 
because um, the same sort of thing looks like it's on the front where, again, these are meant to, to go in and secure this, but again, we're off by, I don't know, like an inch or so. Um, I will continue to assemble and see if we've got other issues. All right, I got it uh, somewhat fitted up. So the only thing I'm looking at now, um, these, so I've got these brackets here that are gonna go there and around the front and underneath. The only uh, problem I have is I, I was planning to have them be fit right between these and we're just like, I don't know, like, an eighth of an inch or something too wide, so they don't quite fit. Um, so I will probably end up shaving, shaving down a couple of these brackets, or uh, yeah, a couple of these brackets here, so that these can fit around. And we'll make sure it fits up. Put some rib nuts in the top and the bottom, and if all that goes well, the only thing we needed to change was kind of the spacers on those batteries. So that's not bad. All right, I've got the uh, this all bolted in here and here. Um, so that was kind of the test fit. So now I get to take it all apart. Um, I can't quite drill the holes down here to uh, do the rib nuts down here. So take it all apart, put the rib nuts in. I also need to connect up the batteries. Um, I need to drill some holes for the cables to kind of go in and out and we'll go to that point. All right, I disassembled the um, front battery pack, the battery box here. Um, I've cut some angle steel to, to the length here, so it's gonna fit right in here and support underneath. And I've cleaned it up, so it's all kind of free and ready to weld. And so yeah, next step will be welding, and then I'll also be, <laughs> I've decided uh, these ones, I'll, I'll probably use this just to keep it in place so I can weld that top. Then I'll take this off and just weld, put a seam weld there on both sides. And put the batteries in, or the battery modules in, and figure out where I want to route the cables, the battery cables from battery to battery. So stay tuned. I have everything uh, disassembled and taken out. Um, I need to, again, put some rib nuts in here. So I kind of marked them, I could get the, just touch the tip of the drill so I know where to drill. So I'll put those in and then um, I need to clean up some steel uh, so I can weld there and there. All right, so cleaned up the steel there and over there. So again, uh, here. And here, so essentially all the weld points may need to uh, get another piece of clean cleaned off for uh, the ground clamp, but uh, I think that should do it. I am getting all set up for welding. Um, first though, I had to go and make my outlet. So I had the 220 to the wall, I just had a, a cover plate um, for it. So went to the store, got a plug, wired it up, turned the breaker on, so now we're ready to go.
All right, so this is just kind of a close up of one of the welds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up a little bit so we can paint them. All right, so just kind of cleaned up that weld there and this one here. Um, I might, uh, I'll just kind of clean off the steel a little bit, just get it ready for painting. Got the uh, first coat of the uh, paint on, the chassis paint, so um, we'll, we'll see how that looks. Maybe take some sandpaper to it and clean it up again. Uh, do one more coat, but uh, yeah, got it all welded in, painted up. That's how she looks. All right, um, I'm gonna put the batteries in, or the battery modules in, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and wire the plugs first um, because they'll be hard to get to once they're uh, in place. So um, I'll go ahead and do some soldering and see how far we get. All right, so I got uh, one done. Uh, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just realizing we've got, um, so this is one plug of two, so meaning the battery, the battery module's got one in the front and one in the back. So basically this allows you to monitor each of the 16 cells within the battery module as well as they've got a, a thermistor uh, inputs or outputs I guess. So that's a lot of wires and this is only half. So there's, and I've got 12 battery modules. So I gotta figure out if there's a better way to do this but this is going to be a lot of wiring, a lot of soldering, so I will probably, yeah, I don't know what I'll do. All right, um, that's all we're going to be able to do. Um, time's running out for this week. So we're able to, again, weld in the back support um, back there, just kind of hold the weight of the battery pack. And also got some on the sides here that'll help it go, not go side to side. And... Obviously this one's going to help it not go up and down and we've got the brackets that go across the front um, that will keep it coming front and back. So uh, that's next week we'll get into more wiring. Um, I'll also get into the uh, bigger, bigger cables um, to do the battery, uh, tie the battery uh, modules together to complete the front battery pack. All right, that does it for this week. See you next week.